Maybe they're having me go to this. The more I start to question my own sanity. <laughs> How's it going, everyone? I'm Nostalgia Dude, and welcome back aboard the Nostalgia Train. Pink Fox is right over here, but unfortunately, she told me to do it without her because she's way too dead. Hi. Blame night shift jobs. <laughs> Uh, just, you know what to expect voice-wise, though, Pink Fox, though. In case it's not her, she's saying hi. So don't push yourself too much. No, the other Pink Fox said that. <laughs> You're always worrying about me, Pink Fox. It's very endearing. That's... Yuri wasn't kidding. I don't even know if I can keep up with this. I want Yuri to pour a cup of tea for each of us. Big Fox, I have another request. Do you mind if we sit on the floor today? Eh? Why's that? It's a little bit easier on my back. Did this happen in the main... in Act 1? I don't remember. I can read my back against the wall, rather than bending up. Yeah, actually, this did happen in Act 1. This is the first day, I think. Sorry, I didn't realize. No worries. I just have back pain fairly regularly, so I do my best to manage it. Yeah, this, this was in Act 1. It's most likely because of my... Uh, my... Okay, she doesn't stutter with that in the first act, though. I don't think. Always hunched over like what that while reading. Yes! I had a terrible reading posture. Oh, jeez. <laughs> um... Let's go, we should sit on the floor. <laughs> okay... All right, Yuri, calm down. Yeah, she doesn't struggle with that. And now she is. I'll go ahead and get the book. Yeah, okay, so this is basically the same so far. It's a bag of small chocolate candies. I take it since it'll go well with the tea. Yuri and I, Yuri and I then sit against the wall. Tea cups at our sides. As if in sync, we assure the same reading position as last time, each holding one half of the book. Except this time, our bodies are- yeah, okay, same, same, closer until our shoulders are much the same, almost the same, it was also kind of cute, but she's being less apprehensive, it's almost Okay, still saying. Come on! Your teacup? Yuri hands me my teacup. Holding it with my hand, that's not holding the book. I end up in a position that makes it even harder to focus, okay? Most of this is still the same as Act 1, I guess. <sighs> because now I need to, make, to worry about making sure I don't accidentally touch her chest. Meanwhile, yeah, I mean, knowing Act 2, Yuri, I doubt you'd care. You'd probably go berserk if you did that. But, in more of a way that benefits any kind of perverted person. Meanwhile, Yuri hasn't noticed a single thing. She wears her intense reading expression, and I, yeah, okay, that's the same. I use all my willpower to focus on reading. After a few minutes, I finally managed to relax a little. Put the teacup between my legs and fumble with the chocolate wrapper. Okay, same. Usually let go of the book to finish. Okay, same. You can have as much as you want. Ah, huh, that's... That's okay. I won't take any. Huh? Are you sure? Yeah, okay. I think that part's different, actually. Well, if I touch it... Then I might get smudged on the page. Ah, okay. Uh, actually, no, yep, that's the same. 
right. I didn't even think about that. My bad. No need to apologize. I'll put the book, okay? Are you sure? Of course. I start shoving it in her mouth, right? She holds it so that I don't have any harder of a time reading from it. But as a result, her left arm is practically resting on top of my leg. I'm sure she's loving that. Well, in that case, Yuri is already totally focused on reading again. I take a chocolate candy pop into my mouth. Then I take another chocolate and pop it into hers. Hold it up to Yuri. She doesn't even look away from the book. She simply parts her lips as if this situation was completely natural. In this case, it's for her, it probably is. That means I can't stop here. I apprehensively place the chocolate in her mouth. Just like that, Yuri closes her lips over it. Huh? <laughs> Yuri's expression suddenly breaks. That expression actually is not the same. Actually, that surprise, but actually I think that is the same. Did I just, Yuri looks at me like she needs to confirm what just happened. No, yeah, I think that's the same. Hey, Fox, so sorry. I, I, I guess I shouldn't have done that. Why did it all go dead silent? Yuri starts to breathe heavily. But, and it's getting darker. It's off and on. I don't know. It's it's faint, but it's like dark light. It did that. It's doing it again. I can't. Pink box. Suddenly, Yuri forcefully grabs my arm and drags me to my feet. That part is definitely not the same. My teacup gets knocked over. Hey, Fox. Whoa. My heart. Why, 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 why did it go dark? My heart won't stop pounding, Pink Fox. I can't calm down. I can't focus on anything anymore. Can you feel it, Pink Fox? Why? <laughs> Yuri suddenly presses my hand against her chest. Um. Why is this happening to me? I forgot to take care of something, by the way. There we go. <laughs> I feel like I'm losing my mind. Well, your eyes tell that too. I can't make it stop. It even makes me not want to read. I just want to look at you. Whoa. Perfect thumbnail picture. <laughs> Even though we're eight minutes into the video, why not? Yuri, back. Huh. Uh, um, thank you, Monica. <laughs> Time to share a poem. Um, thank you. That was very weird. Okay, Natsuki first. I'm gonna do Yuri last, because I have a feeling she's just gonna make me... She, she's just gonna keep it. This one's alright. Alright. Well, yeah. Not as good as yesterday's, anyway. Really tell how much you actually care about writing, but either way, you're doing 
alright. Even though you're not really spending time with anyone but Yuri, I still think it's nice to have activities that we all participate in. So you better keep working hard. I mean, I know I'm not president or vice president or anything, but it doesn't mean you can let me down, okay? So at least read my two for now. To be clear, this poem means a lot to me. So read it carefully, okay? Okay. I don't know how else to bring this up, but there's been something I've been worried about. This is not a poem. Yuri has been acting kind of strange lately. You've only been here a few days, so you may not know what I mean. She's not normally like this always been quiet and polite and attentive. Things like that. Okay. This is really embarrassing, but I'm forcing myself to suck it up. The truth is, I'm really worried about her. But if I try talking to her, she'll just get mad at me again. I don't know what to do. I think you're the only person that she'll listen to. I don't know why, but please try to do something. Maybe you can convince her to talk to a therapist. I've always wanted to try being better friends with Yuri. And it really hurts me to see this happening. I know I'm going to hate myself later for admitting that. But right now, I don't care. I just feel so helpless. So please see if you can do something to help. I don't want anything bad to happen to her. I'll make you cupcakes if I have to. Just please try to do something. As for Monica, I don't know why, but she's been really dismissive about this. It's like she just wants us to ignore it. So, I'm mad at her right now. Yeah, I'd be too. <laughs> and that's why I'm coming to you about this. Don't let her know I wrote this. Just pretend like I gave you a really good poem, okay? I'm counting on you. Thanks for reading. <laughs> That's my poem for today. <laughs> what in the... Change my mind. Ignore everything you just read. There's no point in trying to do anything. Oh, Paul. It's your own fault that she's un so unlikable. Can you hear me, Pink Fox? Just spend more time with Monica. All these problems will go away. Uh, Natsuki, are you okay? Yuri and I are just too messed up for someone as wonderful as you. Just think of Monica from now on. Just Monica. Just Monica. Just Monica. Oh, gosh. Just Monica. Just Monica. Excuse me? <laughs> Just my... Okay, what? <laughs> okay. Fine. You want me to show it to Monica? I was planning on that anyway. Hey, Fox. I think you saw something earlier that you weren't supposed to see. So which one are you referring to? Yuri going berserk or Natsuki going berserk? to have to tell you this, but I don't think I have a choice. It's getting kind of dangerous for you to spend so much time with Yuri. I don't know why, but she seems pretty easily excitable when she's around you. Which shouldn't be a problem in itself. So much for the idea of Monica not giving heed to this. When Yuri gets too excited, she finds a place to hide and starts cutting herself with a pocket knife. Yeah, I caught her in- Oh, that's what she's referring to. Isn't that kind of messed up? She even brings a different one to school every day. Like she has a collection or something. I mean, I've met people IRL who do that. It's a fetish sometimes, sometimes it's just a force of habit. 
the judge summon for that is kind of ridiculous, Monica. I mean, it's definitely not because she's suppressed or anything like that. Okay, the people I met, though, that would be the reason, so I guess it's different. Still, I think she just gets some kind of high from it. That. Alright. My, I know my face pretty much said don't d d d let d shut up. No judgment from my end. It might even be like a sexual thing. Okay, that one I've never understood though. But the point is, you you've kind of been enabling her. I'm not saying it's your fault though. But I guess that's why I had to explain it all to you. So I think if you keep your distance, that would probably be for her. Be best for her. While you're at it, don't be shy to spend a little more time with me. Okay. To put it lightly, I at least have to have it together in the head. And I know how to treat my club members. I'm here to the president, she's vice. Slight difference. <laughs> anyway, I worked really, really hard on this poem, so I hope that it's uh, effective. Here it goes. Jeez! That really startled me. That. I remember this from the original. It definitely took Monica longer to notice this. Because I remember thinking in the original, ah, oh, great, I broke the game. Then, like, five, ten seconds after I think that, I'm getting ready to close it, and then suddenly Monica pops up. I'm like, okay, never mind. Um, well, I guess it's kind of messed up at, uh, well, I guess I kind of messed up at uh, writing this poem. What was actually on the file that wrote it? That it was, that was, like, if you were to clear up the quote-unquote glitching, what is actually written on this poem? I was just trying to, <sighs> never mind. Let's just move on. What was written on that poem? Finally! <laughs> oh boy. Yuri, please don't. Yuri holds my poem to her face and takes a deep breath. I love it. I love everything about it. Big Fox, I want to take this home. Oh boy. Will you let me keep it? Please? Uh, sure. <laughs> You're too nice to me, Pink Fox. Yeah, you're right. I'm too nice. I've never met anyone as nice as you. I could die. N not, not really. But I just don't know how to describe it. It's okay to be feeling this way, right? It's not bad, right? Yuri holds my palm to her chest. I'm going to take this home with me and keep it in my room. I hope that it makes you feel good when you think about me having it. I'll take good care of it. I'm not reading that. I'm not reading that. And some of the things I'll go, okay, fine, but I am definitely not reading that. Ugh. I mean, you? If you want to read it, go ahead. But again, I'm not reading this. <laughs> okay. Apparently, I'm allowed to have a poem, too. I'm afraid to look. Besides, 
after you read it, I know you're really going to want to keep it. I'm not so sure. Yeah, take it. I can't wait any longer. Hurry, read it. Yeah, yeah. Nope. What does that even say? You know, forget the blood stains and the piss on it. What do the words actually say? Oh boy. Um, you know what? This one's closer to what I was thinking of earlier. Uh, Yuri, back off. Do you like it? I wrote it for you. In case you couldn't tell, the poem is about words that don't exist. More importantly, I've endowed it with my scent. That's weird. See, aren't I the most thoughtful in the club? I I think I'm going to go, going to vote. Okay, bye, Yuri. What? Blank. Yes or no? I don't know. I don't even know what the blank is. No. A joke. A man walked into a club. In the club, there was a girl who liked him very much. They spent some time together, and then she liked him even more. One day, the girl realized she was in love with him. Before disaster could happen, a third party intervened with her programming. Suddenly, the girl hated herself for being in love. This contradiction caused the script to derail. The universe started to collapse, but she killed herself just in time. So, the synopsis of Act 1. Or at least what's really going on behind the scenes. For those who don't know. Hi. Okay, everyone. It's time to figure out the festival preparations. Let's hurry and get this over with. Yeah, she's so like... She's just totally wanting to get it over with, but... She's just so obscenely, absurdly annoyed by the other club members. Dark Lady Air is coming, common foreshadowing that something terrible is about to happen. You're not wrong, Yuri. Look, can we just get this done? <sighs> can Sayori come back, please? She made the air here so much more bearable. <laughs> I'm going to be printing an assembly on the poetry pamphlets. Natsuki, you can make cupcakes. I know you're at least good at that. Okay, that was not nice at all. What the hell, Monica? You're right, you can. Well, it doesn't matter. Do whatever you want, as long as you think it'll help. Monica? I'm not useless, you know. Know that. Why do I feel like that's not even in the script? I already know what I'd like to do. You can't run a successful poetry event without having the right atmosphere for the occasion. So I'm going to make decorations and set up some nice mood lighting. There. See? That's a great idea. And that gives us all something to do. Huh? What about Pink Fox? Pink Fox is going to help me. Wait, you? You have the easiest job, Monica. Sorry, but that's just how it is. Like hell it is! What are you trying to pull? I, I agree with Natsuki. Not only is your work already most suitable for one person... Actually, yeah. <laughs> 
but my task is laborious enough to benefit from an extra pair of gloves. I'm sure that's not the reason you really want me there, Yuri. I'm you. What? Your cupcakes? Please? Like you would fucking know! All you care about now is dragging Pink Fox around with you and your stupid books. You and Monica. Hey! I didn't even do anything. Okay, then why not let Pink Fox decide who to help instead of abusing your power? I'm not abusing my power. BS, Monica. The poem we just read a moment ago proves what you're doing. It says exactly what Monica's doing. BS! I mean, right now, for the, if you guys can't tell, Monica obviously knows more than the other two, so it has to obviously be Monica doing it. You? Yes, you are, Monica. Just let Pink Fox make the choice, okay? Okay, fine. Fine. Jeez! Pink Fox, I know how fed up you are with this stupid. <laughs> Honestly, Natsuki's not wrong. <laughs> you can just. Natsuki, shut your fucking mouth and let him decide for himself. Okay, yeah, I. Natsuki, I'm gonna go with you. You shut your mouth! God's sake! This is never going to just end. Just make the choice, okay? Natsuki. Whoa! What the? What the? Hey! Monica, that's not fair. That was not fair, Monica. Yay! You picked me! I did not. You forced that. That wasn't fair, Monica. We should meet at your house this weekend. I promise it'll be fun. Is Sunday okay with you? Are you fucking kidding me? This isn't fair at all. You're right. I was like scrolling down to your name. Monica's just like, nope, 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 nope. I'm like, BS, Monica. It's fair, Nazi. No, it's not. It's what he chose. I've got my eye on you, bitch. <laughs> Since we're already swearing a lot in this episode anyway. No, it's not fair. Giving us all this work and then taking Pink Fox for yourself? What a shameful thing to do. Yuri, I didn't even give you any work. You decided it for yourself. Being a little unreasonable here. I'm being unreasonable? Oh, uh, she went wide eyed. Okay, oh boy. <laughs> Monica, I can't believe how delusional and self important you are. Pulling Pink Fox away from me every single time you're not included. Oh boy. Are you jealous? Crazy? Or maybe you just have yourself. You just hate yourself so much that you take it on on others. Here's a suggestion. Have you considered killing yourself? Oh boy. It would be beneficial to your. What? I'm not finishing that sentence. Yuri, you're scaring me a little. Let's just go. I don't think she wants us around right now. See? That wasn't very hard. All I want is to spend a little time with him. Is that so much to ask? Yes. Yuri follows Monica and Natsuki to the door. Hey, Pink Fox. Yuri is really something. 
Jesus. That's putting it lightly, but you're not any better. Monica giggles as Yuri pushes her out the door. Um, I checked the footage last time this happened and it wasn't really heard, so... Could you hear that breathing? And the fact that the notes are changing. What is this, Ben Drowned Doki Doki version? <laughs> Finally! Finally! This is really all I wanted! Pink Fox, there's no need to spend the weekend with Monica! Don't listen to her! Just come to my house instead! The whole day with just the two of us! Uh, no. Doesn't that sound wonderful? <laughs> wow, there's really something wrong with me, isn't it? Yeah! And the music's broken. Okay. But you know what? I don't care anymore. I've never felt this good in my whole life. Just being with you is a far greater pleasure than anything I could imagine. I'm addicted. Yeah, I can tell. Feels like I'm going to die if I'm not breathing the same uh, air as you. Doesn't it feel nice to have someone care about you so much? I have someone who cares about me a lot to the extent where I wouldn't want to let her go. She's literally laying right on my bed right now, resting, but you aren't that, Yuri. As you said already, you're addicted. You're obsessed. That's someone who wants to revolve their entire life around you? By the way, the voice cracks, that's actually intentional. But it, it feels so good. And why does it feel more and more like something horrible is going to happen? Because it probably is. Maybe that's why I tried stopping myself at first. But the feeling is too strong now. I don't care about it anymore, Pink Fox. I have to tell you, I'm, I'm madly in love with you. Feels like every inch of my body, every drop of my blood, is screaming your name. I don't care what consequences are anymore. I don't care if Monica is listening. Thanks for telling me that I was right, basically, Yuri. Monica is basically doing all this. You just, you just said it. Please, Pink Fox. Just know how much I love you. I love you so much that I even touch you. Uh, I'm not reading that. I'm not reading that. Nope. Nope. Not reading that. I just want to pull your skin open and crawl inside of you. That's disgusting. That's disgusting. Go to a biology class if you want to do something and do that to a frog. I want you all to myself. And I will be only yours. Doesn't that sound perfect? Tell me, Pink Fox. Tell me you want to be my lover. Do you accept my confession? I mean, I've done both ways. If what, Whichever one you choose, you get the same outcome. But no. I'm sorry, no. I'm not saying yes to that. <laughs> ah! Um.
be sitting here for three in-game days, so be ready for this. I mean, I could probably fast-forward it for you guys if you really want me to. I'm already going fast-forward, but I can go fast-forward more. Welcome back. All right, it's festival time. Wow, you got here before me? Um, wait, what did she just say? Yeah! <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, no. Natsuki runs away. I'm here. Pink Fox. Did something happen? Um, why don't you look at the freaking floor and find out, Monica? Natsuki just ran past me. Oh. Oh. <laughs> well, that's a shame. Wait, were you here the entire weekend, Pink Fox? I mean, for me, it was like 20 seconds, but for you guys, it was probably like one. Oh, jeez. I didn't realize the script was broken that badly. I'm super sorry. Yeah, okay. Sentient being, Monica. Come on. Stop the act. It must have been pretty boring. Actually, it went by pretty quickly thanks to the skip option. <laughs> or the. Well, I'm gonna call it fast forward. It says skip, but it just fast forwards between everything. I'll make it up to you, okay? Just give me a sec. What are you doing? Actually, that. Okay. Wait, why are you doing that? I'm almost done! I just wanna have a cupcake real quick. Monica lifts the foil from tray and takes a cupcake. Seriously, these are the best. I really just have to have one since this is the last time I'll ever get the chance to. You know, before they stop existing and everything. Uh, Monica. But anyway. I really shouldn't be making you wait any longer. Just bear with me, okay? This should only take a second. Eh, oh, oh, okay. Uh, can you hear me? Is it working? Hi! Yay! There you Um, welcome to the Literature Club. Of course, we already know each other, because we were in the same class last year, and, um... <laughs> you know, I guess we could just skip over that stuff at this point. After all, I'm not even talking to that person anymore, am I? That you in the game? Whatever you want to call it. I'm talking to you. Okay, one thing I guess they changed from the, um, the main, the, the original version of the game, it would not say that. It wouldn't say that, it would actually say whatever you named your computer file. Like, for example, mine's just my general name, David. That would say David if it was the, if it was the original CP version, or the PC version, whatever. Or... Did you actually get... Never mind. It did it. It did exactly what I said. Now that I think about it, I don't really know anything about the Wii U. I'm pretty sure at a point, if this was the PC version, this would actually say... Actually, are you recording this? I wonder if the game is strong enough to still do that over a console. 
because I'm doing this on the Switch, so I wonder. Now that I think about it, I don't really know anything about the Wii U. In fact, I don't even know if you're a boy or a girl. Well, I got, I got, either, I either got flats or I'm a dude. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's the fact that I'm a dude. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. Wait, you do know I'm aware that this is all a game, right? Could it be possible that you didn't know that I've known? I've known since the very beginning, Monica, but I tried to wait until the game hinted to actually say anything. That's why I've been trying to t that's what I've been trying to tell you all along. Man, if only you had paid a little more attention, this would have been a little bit less awkward, you know? You're only making it awkward for yourself. And you know what? I'm tired of this. Well, anyway, now that that's out of the way, I guess I owe you an explanation. About the whole thing with Yuri, well, I kind of started to mess with her, and I guess it just drove her to kill herself. Same with Sayori, I know. <laughs> I'm sorry you had to see that, though. And I'll probably just make this the final episode, meaning this will be a little bit extensive. Not too much, but a little bit. Also, the same thing happened with Sayori. Gosh! It's been a while since you've heard that name now, hasn't it? No, since I keep bringing it up. Yeah, it's because she doesn't exist anymore. Nobody does. I deleted all their files. Yeah, what'll happen when I delete yours for that? Karma gonna be a bitch, bitch. I was hoping it would be enough for me to just try to make them as unlikable as possible. For some reason, nothing worked. Well, it's true that I made a few mistakes here and there, since I'm not very good at making changes to the game. You're not the programmer, Monica. But no matter what I did, you just kept spending a little more time with them. I need to fall in love with you. I thought making, Sa I thought making Sayori more and more depressed would prevent her from confessing to you. You never mess with the mind, Monica. That's just a stupid idea. For some reason, this even works for programs. And amplifying Yuri's obsessive personality backfired, too. It just made her force you not to spend time with anyone else. And what about Natsuki? She didn't do nothing different. Apparently, we got to talk to you. What kind of cool game is this, Pete? Are all the other girls just programmed to end up confessing to you while I watch from the sidelines? It's torture. Every minute of it. It's not just jealousy, Pink Fox. It's more than that. And I don't blame you if you don't fully understand. I get it. It's called envy. It's one of the seven deadly sins. You've got a lot of that, Monica. You shouldn't because you're a program, but you're sentient, so I guess you do. Because no matter how kind and thoughtful and considerate you are, you'll never be able to understand one thing. It's the pain of knowing how alone I really am in this world. In this game. Knowing my friends don't even have free will. Um, what? First of all, knowing what's really out there in your world, forever out of my reach, I'm trapped, Pink Fox. But now you're here. You're real. And you're wonderful. You're all I need. That's why I need you to be here with me forever. I'm sorry if it's hard to understand. I couldn't understand for a while either. Why the world around me started to become more and more gray, more and more flat. Even the most expressive poems felt empty to me. It wasn't until you arrived that I truly understood. You probably saved my life, Pink Fox. I don't think I could have continued to live in this world if I, did, I hadn't met you. And as for the others, how could I miss them? 
a group of autonomous personalities designed only to fall in love with you. Individuals without control shoved into a... This sounds very familiar. Shoved into some kind of electronic device. Totally doesn't sound like the plot of another horror game. I tried everything I could to prevent them from doing so. But it must be some kind of weird inevitability etched into this game. I felt really bad for you and I had to witness some nasty things. But I realized that you have the same perspective I do. And it's all just some Um, so that being said, Pink Fox, I have a confession to make. I love you. Yeah. You are truly the light of my world. When there's nothing else in this game for me, you're here to make me smile. Will you make me smile like this every day from now on? Pink Fox, will you go out with me? I'm so happy. You know what? Oops. I've done that before. I've done that before. You know what? Can I? There's no point in saving anymore. Don't worry. I'm not going anywhere. All right, Monica. There's nothing to load. Bye, Monica. You know what? Monica, we're going to go off of this. Karma's going to be an effing bitch. You are getting destroyed. I'm surprised there's no mail yet. What was the new thing? What was the new thing? Oh, that was the last picture. Duh. Wow. There are a lot of secret poems in this game. That's a lot of concept, too. Anyway, we're getting sidetracked. Monica, you had this coming. Yes, delete Monica.chr. Well, I'm so happy. And there you go. It took me forever to figure out that the first time around, but what's happening? Fox, what's happening to me? It hurts. It hurts so much. Help me, Pink Fox. And the entire script is broken. The whole game is broken. Please hurry and help me. OS.exist. Monica.chr does not exist. Help me. Did you do this to me, Pink Fox? Did you? Did you delete me? I'm the only one left. Karma's a bitch, ain't it? How could you? I mean, you did it to the others. You should have had. You had it coming, Monica. How could you do this to me? All I had left. I sacrificed everything for us to be together. Everything. I loved you so much, Pink Fox. I trusted you. You just want to torture me? Watch me suffer? Were you only pretending to be kind just to hurt me even more? Don't fool yourself, Monica. In the game, personality-wise, if I were to fall for anyone, it probably would have been, when it was controlled, Yuri's personality. But... There actually is a reason in the first act we helped, we went through every single person. You guys will find that out at the end of the game. I never thought anyone could be as horrible as you are. You win, okay? You win. You killed everyone. You killed everyone. I only killed you. I hope you're happy. There's nothing left now. You can stop playing. Go find some other people to torture. Fox, you complete me, 
truly make me sick. Goodbye. Whatever. Alright, fine. I still love you. Can't help it. You're deleted. How is your character file deleted and you're still communicating with me? How? What's wrong with you? How horrible am I to hate you this much? How horrible am I for you to hate me this much? There we go. All my friends? I did so many awful things. There it is. So many selfish and disgusting things. I... I shouldn't have done any of this. Just messing up a world that I don't even belong in. A world that you wanted to be a part of. I ruined it. I ruined everything. Maybe that's why you deleted me. Because I destroyed everything that you wanted. How could I do that to someone I love? That's not love. That's... I've... I've made up my mind. Big Fox, I know I said that I deleted everyone else, but that was kind of an exaggeration. I couldn't find it in myself to do it. Even though I knew they weren't real, they were still my friends. Wait, so what did you do with the files? That's one thing I never understood. Where the hell did the files go? I love them all. I love the literature to them. I really did love the literature club. That's why I'm going to do this. I know it's the only way for everyone to be happy. And if I really love you, Then. And the file's gone. Possibly. This game is not suitable for children or the. I know. And now Monica's just not there overall. It wasn't glitched like Sayori's was. She's just not there. Alright, new game. Kinda. <laughs> Alright, so this is going to be superly extensive, I know. This usually happens in final episodes, so let's go. It's an ordinary school day like any other. As usual, I'm surrounded by couples and friends, friend groups, walking to school together. I always tell myself it's about time I meet some girls or something like that. Hey, Big Fox. I don't remember Sayori's voice. Amber did it a lot better than I did anyway. <laughs> I'm just going to read generically at this point. Well, there already is one girl. That girl's Sayori, my neighbor and good friend since we were children. We used to walk to school together every day. Recently, we picked up that habit once again. I think I did like a really high, <laughs> high pitched voice or something, but I don't remember. Are you proud of me? Oh, yeah, because she was like really chirpy. Huh? For what? You know, for waking up on time. Well, you've been doing that for a while now. Okay, obviously she doesn't have depression anymore. Uh-huh. But you never even said anything about it. Even though we walk to school together every day. Well, yeah. <laughs> I always thought I, it was implied. It's embarrassing to say out loud. Come on, please. It's good motivation. Fine, fine. I'm proud of you, Sayori. <laughs> we cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. By the way, Pink Fox, have you decided on the club's join yet? Why do I feel like in the long haul it's gonna be the literature club anyway? Club? I told you already, I'm not really... I start to say what I always do, that I'm not interested in joining any clubs. But something tells me Sayori would take more offense to that now. 
After all, how could I tell her that clubs are a waste of time when she's starting a club of her very own? The literature club? Actually, yeah. I think I've decided on a club. Really? Which one? Tell me! Hmm. I think I'll keep it a surprise. <laughs> Meaty. Okay. Be patient, you'll find out soon enough. I used to ask myself why I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl. Yeah. Actually, that is very accurate, even to this for the story's sake. That is Oh boy. <laughs> but I started to realize that in a way. I envy her. When, Ka when Sayori puts her mind to something, she can accomplish great things. That's why I feel like I should do this, do something special for her. I really fingers crossed I did the right. So, in the original version of the game, to get the good end, you have to help everything like we did in this, help everyone like you did in this playthrough, and save it under individual files. That way, the game remembers you did that. That's exactly what I did. I really hope that I get the good ending. Otherwise, if I if we don't get the good ending here, the good ending does not exist in this version. The school day is as ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. After I pack up my things, I stand up, gathering my motivation. Let's see. I recall the room number of the club from the flyer I saw. I walk across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit. Before long, I find the room. I timidly open the door in front of me. Hello? Ah! Hey, Fox? W -w -w what are you doing here? Well, I, I just... Huh? Glance around the room. This room is full of incredibly cool girls, right? Hi. Hi, Natsuki. <laughs> so you're the pink. You're the pink box that Sayori's always talking about. Thank you for stopping by. Wow, everyone here is suddenly more mature than even the first act. It's a pleasure to meet you, pink box. With the literature club. I, I hope you went. I hope you enjoy your visit. Come on, Yuri. No need to be so formal. <laughs> He's gonna think we're really strict or something. Actually, no, I think you guys are just really mature. Sorry, Natsuki. The tall one, whose name is apparently Yuri. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Wait. Mature and assertive. Was that this? I don't think that was the same in the original act either, actually. Well, it's nice to meet both of you. I look forward to working with you. Working? Hey, Fox, don't tell me. That's right. The club I've decided to join is Iris Sayori. I mean, even without previous acts, that still makes sense given they've been close friends for so long. The Literature Club. Sayori's eyes light up. No way! No way! Okay, I'm not doing that, though. <laughs> I would only scream like a little girl if I was a little girl. <laughs> Sayori wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. That's actually adorable. And hey. <laughs> well, if Sayori is this happy, then I'm sure it would be so bad to have you around. Not to mention there's four of us now. That means we can become an officially recognized club. I don't know what to say. We have to celebrate. Not mean to do that one actually. <laughs> what an appropriate day for that, isn't it? Yeah. After all, Natsuki decided to Hey, don't ruin the surprise. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Everyone sit down at the table, okay? How about I make some tea as well? Alright, we're back to square one except no Monica. The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. What is this, elementary school? Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room where, oh, excuse me, 
to where Natsuki grabs a wrapped tray and Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayori. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! Woohoo! Natsuki lifts the foil off the tray to reveal a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. The whiskers are drawn with icing. Like Act 1. <laughs> like Act 1. Wow, they also look amazing. <laughs> well, you know. I do, actually, at this point. Just hurry and take one. Sayori grabs the first one. Then I follow. It's delicious! Sayori talks with her... Oh, sorry. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how to do that voice while acting like I have a mouthful of food. I turn the cupcake around in my fingers, looking for the best angle to take a bite. Natsuki is quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made herself. This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. Well, it, of course it is. Well, of course it is. I'm a pro, after all. There's no need to thank me or anything. As Natsuki struggles to accept the compliment, Yuri returns to the table carrying the tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of him. Like Act 1. Like Act 1. Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. Yeah. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? You said that in Act 1 as well. <laughs> Already trying to impress our new member, Yuri. Uh, that, that's not insulted. <laughs> Yuri looks away. Yuri, she's just teasing you. Come on. I mean, that, you know. I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but I at least enjoy a cup of tea. Apparently. Dave doesn't, but I'm sure this person does. Which actually. If this person wasn't. This person's like. The, the character that was being. That we play as is kind of a mashup of mine and Pink Fox's. Real life Pink Fox's personalities together. So the name is definitely suitable. <laughs> I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. So, Pink Fox, what things, what kind of things do you like to read? Okay, manga. Yeah, yeah. Natsuki looks over at my character. This part's so most of this is the same. Not much of a reader. That can change. I don't even have to look at the screen to know what this is what it says because this was in Act One. without thinking. What about you, Yuri? She likes, like, horror, or like, really intense things. Novels that build deep and complex reality. The description towards that, I'm skipping everything that was in Act 1. If you want to check it, you can either read it yourself, or you can check out Act 1 for yourself. <sighs> A lot of this seems the same. Wait. You know, I like a lot of things. This isn't the same. Don't feel intimidated if you don't read very much, okay? I'm certain we can find something that we have in common. Okay, that's different. Hey, Yuri. Huh? Well, that, you know, the first thing you said. Manga? Ma manga? That's right. Natsuki tends to read manga in the courtroom. But don't just say it. For some reason, Natsuki... For some reason, Natsuki seems embarrassed about it. I wouldn't be. I love manga. Besides, manga is literature too, you know. So, if Pink Fox wants to read some of my manga, then don't try and stop him or something. Natsuki, I wouldn't do such a thing. This is not the. This is not Act One or Act Two. You don't have to worry about that, Natsuki. However, 
It could also be nice for us to diversify ourselves a little. That's fair. Actually, it's a fair statement. We could take this opportunity to try something new as well. Wouldn't you agree? That is a fair. That that is a fair statement, actually. <laughs> Maybe. Sensing the tension, Sayuri jumps in. Maybe we can all try something new. I think it could be fun. And we'll all get to know each other a little bit better, too. I mean, that's the kind of thing winter folks do, right? I mean, I, I don't disagree or anything. Yeah. You're right, it's usual, President. <laughs> <laughs> Guess that means I should try picking up a gun or something, huh? Well, that would make two of us. <laughs> I wouldn't mind doing it if I'm not the only one. Then as for Yuri... Huh? I, I have to read manga? Jeez! You were the one who suggested we diversify. Actually, yeah. Don't... You're not gonna seclude yourself after su suggesting it. Why am I stuttering? You should be a little more open-minded. It's kind of hurtful. Hurtful? I, I... I didn't realize. The guilty expression thinks to herself. I'm sorry for disrespecting your interests, Natsuki. If, if you're into it, then I'm sure it's a worthy form of literature. This is definitely not Acts 1 or 2. <laughs> they don't ever get along this much when it comes to literature. Unless you're including the side stories, then they do, but outside of that, they don't. Are you just saying that? No. They definitely don't get along that well. I've realized my error. So, if you're willing to consider starting a novel, then I'll offer my gratitude by finding a manga to read as well. Really? I mean, it makes me happy that you would do that for me, Yuri. Equals! You can trust me to, to find something that you'll really like, okay? Same here. Perhaps I'll visit the bookstore after the club meeting. Just, just you? Would you like to come along with me? Um, if you don't mind. Not at all. I always go alone, so... Yeah, me too. This is so cute! Um, Tyre, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> the thing I've been wanting to say every time she says something stupid. <laughs> My character finally says it. I'll show you some manga of theirs, too, okay? Yes. I look forward to it. Natsuki and Yuri start to clean up the food. <laughs> I guess the meeting's over, huh? Yeah. Looks like it. Good end. Good end. Good end. Please good end. Please good end. Please good end. Please good end. It's nice to see everyone getting along. Isn't it? I think everyone likes you, too, Peacox. You think so? Well, everyone always seems to get along a little better with you around, Sayori. Aw, Peacox. Don't say something like that. It's embarrassing. Good end, good end, good end, good end, good end. Well, whatever. I was surprised when you told me you were starting a club. But I think you're pulling it off just fine. We're going to make it the best club ever. Now that you join, every day is going to be so much fun. Hey, Peacox. Okay, here we go. Moment of truth. Did we get the good end? I really want to think. That, yes. Yes. But yeah, to do, to get this ending, you have to help all of them. And before she ends up doing what she did at the end of Act 1, you have to have helped every single one of them. Taken the same person three days in a row for all three girls. You have to do that for all of them and save individual files at the end of each time before approaching her at the very end of the act. Otherwise, you do not get this ending. I mean, I'm really happy that you joined the club and everything. But the truth is, I already knew you were going to. Oh, wait, nope, not yet. This doesn't tell me whether... Did I get the good ending? 
But that is the good ending. You're supposed to, at least. That's how you're supposed to do it. <laughs> it's actually something else. Got the good end. When she says that, you know you got the good end. I wanted to thank you for spending so much time with us all. You worked so hard to make each and every one of us happy. You comforted us through our hard times. Okay, I'm sorry, I can't do that voice while reading this. And you helped us all get along with each other. Do you get it, Pink Fox? Because I'm president now, I understand everything. You really didn't want to miss a single thing in this game, did you? Nope. <laughs> I've even gone out to the fake files multiple times to make sure I did it. You saved and loaded so many times just to make sure you could spend time. Only someone who truly cares about the literature club would go that far. Plus, I like this ending a lot better. To a degree. I mean, the other ending is fine, but I like this ending more. But, all along, it's all I ever wanted. For everyone to be happy and care about each other. <laughs> it's, it's kind of sad, you know? After all you've done for us, there isn't much I can do for you. Sayori, we've already reached the end of the game, so this is where we say goodbye. Thank you for playing Doki Doki Literature Club. I'm going to miss you, Pink Fox. Come visit sometime, okay? We'll always be here for you. We, we all love you. That's the end. That's Doki Doki Literature Club Plus, including the site. Can you hear me? After the credits, I need to check. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Hi, it's me. Hi, Monica. So, you know how I've been, like, practicing the piano and stuff? Yeah. I'm not really any good at it yet, like, at all. But, I wrote you a song, and I was kind of hoping that I could play it for you, because I work. I'm going to make a note that both Pink Fox, IRL Pink Fox, and I had different voices for her. They were both wrong. <laughs> Although, yeah. That... I'm not going to interrupt this song. I like this song. Well, that's the main story part of this. I wonder, though, were there any emails that went up after all of that? Directed by Dan Salvato. This? Okay. I don't know if all that is new or not. Wait, it's deleting every image? No! No! <laughs> All my work, all the effort we put into the past 34 episodes. <laughs> yes, I, I know it's been 34 episodes. Well, actually, I think this just covers like 26. No, I think it covers 30 of them. I don't know. 30 at most. Still deleting every little piece of work. Every image. Why? I wonder. 
So, when this was just a PC game, I know I said I wouldn't interrupt the song, but you know what? Whatever. When this was just a PC game, to replay this, you had to completely delete every file, delete everything, and then reinstall it to play it again. I wonder if you could just not worry about that in this. I seriously do wonder. Extra special thanks to Monica, <laughs> of course. And us. <laughs> Made with Love by Team Silvana. Actually, it, realistically, I love the story behind this. To the special player who received this special ending, for years I have been in a mord by the ability of visual novels and games in general to tell stories in ways not possible using traditional media. Looking to View Literature Club is my love letter to that. Games are an interactive art. Yeah, some let you explore new worlds. Some challenge your mind in brand new ways. Some make you feel like a hero or a friend, even when life is hard for you, hard on you. Some games are just plain fun. That's okay too. Everyone likes different kinds of games. Yeah, people who enjoy dating sims may have a heightened empathy for fictional characters. Or they might be experiencing feelings that life has not been kind enough to offer them. If they are enjoying themselves, then that's all that matters. That goes for shooting games, casual games, sandbox games, anything. Preferences are preferences. And our differences are the reason we have a thriving video game industry. That is very true, actually. <laughs> My own favorite games have always been ones that challenge the status quo. Even if not a masterpiece, any game that attempts something wildly different may earn a special place in my heart. Anything that further pushes the limitless, limitless bounds of interactive media. I extend my gratitude to all those who have taken the time to achieve full completion. I hope you enjoy playing it as much as I enjoy making it. Thank you for being part of my literature club. Love, Dan Salvada. I don't think that full message was there in the PC version, but that last, the last three lines on this were. I think that's all the original one had, though, just the last three lines, but that is much appreciated, something like that. Error. Required files are missing or corrupt. Please run reset.sh to repair and reset the virtual machine. Okay. Ah, more mail. You know what? This is the finale, so we might as well check. As a reminder to help guide our data collection, any analysis performed should be focused on answering some of these main questions. How does granting elevated access to the VM affect a person's emotional state? How does granting elevated access to the VM affect a person's values and goals? How does someone effectively navigate and experiment with their ability to change the contents of their VM? How is elevated access being weaponized? What? Whatever. What actions and values most contribute to the destruction of the Um, excuse me. Most importantly, how might your observations apply to your own universe? And a bonus! How can we present this to upper management as an oper operation that benefits the company? So, this entire visual novel was a plot by... These individuals? Huh. Unrelated note. Whoever changed the color scheme of the desktop to pink, can you please change it back? It's unprofessional, and it runs the risk of drawing eyes. That was probably Monica. If I were to get, get, take a guess, yeah. Special gratitude received by achieving full completion of the story. 
which isn't that hard to do. You just have to have a lot of patience. But yeah, there's that. We've finished every side story. We have finished the main visual novel. We have finished everything. What happens if I try to open it, though? Okay, just that. That pops up again. Okay. Well, I could go through the entire visual novel again and just showcase the bad end, but it's nothing. It's nothing that I'd really want to do personally. Maybe separately in like a live stream I can do that. But for right now, this is going to be the end of this series and this visual novel. Oh boy. We got something else I'm planning on doing anyway after this. So it's not horror. I'm going to set that under one line. And since we're doing at the same, simultaneously as this video, uh, Corpse Party, it's going to stay on every... Wednesday, every Thursday. Well, you'll find out next week. Anyway, thanks for tuning into the series, guys. Um, if you guys really enjoy this visual novel, whether you've read it on your own before and you were seeing our reactions, mostly me since unfortunately Pink Fox has been working for the most part, um, it's unfortunate because Amber did really want to join in, but job, I well, like day jobs. They suck, <laughs> but they're necessary. So, But if you did like this series and this video, make sure to push that like button. It's so hard you can't sit anymore. Uh, if you really liked it, consider subscribing to the channel. Most of the visual novels we do on here, most of them will have um, about the same amount of length of time per episode. Like another one I have planned for later on, but either way... Hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, thanks again, guys. Train's, the train is about to head off. If you want to check out any other visual novels we've done, though, click the link at the bottom right-hand corner. The train takes you to that destination. Or if you missed any of the stops on this ride, click the link across from right here, and the train takes you to those. The other 33. Anyway, this train's off to its next destination, but we hope to catch you guys in another ride. Bye.